Ladies and gentlemen, konnichiwa. Hello, it is the Carmen gentleman. And what's this? We have a, we have images on the background. What is this? Yes, this is why today's video. So I'm looking dapper because because we have caliber as our focus today. I kind of want to just you know theme my attire around it, and not for any other particular reason. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to be looking at Calibre, look at him there, he's over there, he's looking cool, he's in his pose. And the light, it's difficult to see, we are going to be looking at the Chow Dragon Wonder Light book. I'm so excited, this was, this aired on Sunday, this was fantastic, absolutely amazing, my jaw sort of hit the floor. I knew it was coming, you know, I knew we'd get an upgrade for him, but... The henshin itself is fantastic. The the audio for it is amazingly good and I'm just really excited to get into it. But before we get to the fun stuff, I kind of want to like be a little bit of a tease because we're also going to look at two other items that I purchased today. First is the Wonderlide storage holder, a storage book holder, you know, Wonderlide book storage holder. What? I'm an English teacher, what the hell? <laughs> you know this this holds the the books it also comes with the uh the seller one book as well one night book which i mainly bought it for but also this compared to i don't actually have them on me at the moment the storage for the plug guys keys last season that was really bad this one is really cool it's nice it fits and you can make a nice display out of it. And the second thing we're going to look at is the Sword of Logos uh, belt buckle. I mainly bought it for the three little pigs. Uh, one that I book, but also you get an extra holder, you get an extra uh, sword holder, that sort of thing. So it's useful. And then we'll look at the Jow Dragon. Obviously we have the sword let's stand up i'm wearing the belt so you can see when we do the transition to that and we also have we also have the sword I forgot it was turned on but it's all set it's ready for when we want to use these and have a look at it so let's start with this one the book holster always be careful with your knives so we just want to make a nice clean cut. There we go. Always sheath your blade as well. So let's open it up when it decides to let me open. Because it's a gate. There we go. So a few things to note. Uh, obviously the movie trailers have been revealed for both Z1 and for uh, Saber, Saber, I, I touched the mask, oh dear, <laughs> I have spares, don't worry, uh, Saber's is only 20 minutes, and Z1 will be t uh, 80 minutes, I believe, and apologies, I'm just going to quickly, I'll do my mask, there we go, ha, that's better, because it's coming down off my nose, and I don't want it to come off my nose, because who wants to look at this part of my face anyway? <laughs> So, um, I guess I'm really excited for both films because it's going to be interesting. Here we have the Zella One uh, book. And obviously, we're getting some more uh, premium Bandai stuff coming from the movie, uh, specifically Eden, Eden's uh, driver pieces for the Zella One. Uh, Hell Rising Hopper is going to be really cool. We can look at the Zeta one one there, it looks really cool. All the different forms that he has, that's kind of cool. Uh, opening up, we've got Zeta one's face. Again, matching color scheme more or less, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of cool. And obviously, we'll pull the pin out in a moment. Let's set that to one side. And of course, we have the obligatory pieces. I will not set this up on camera. I will do this myself, away from camera. But there is sufficiently but enough for two. That's really cool. So that means for roughly about 
2,000 yen. Uh, I keep touching my face. I don't know why. Don't touch your face. <laughs> For about 2,000 yen, you can get two in a box. So, given the fact that it holds six in total then, it's a lot better than the previous uh, set of one holder because that could only hold five. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, I'll set this up. You'll see it in the next video when we do one over here. Uh, let's have a look. Next, actually no, let's not do that just yet. Let's have a look at the Wonder Eyed book. Let's... I love that sound. That's a really good sound. Because I, I love the Zeta 1 sound. Anyway, let's press. Very cool. Now we've heard the story already. That's the story that plays when you pull the pin out and light balance, crazy. So, this one actually goes in the middle, which is quite interesting because a lot of the ones that end up going in last, the storybook. So let's say in the middle. Attention. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And let's have a quick look at the book. We've got Z1 there, or Fancy, and the uh, Attach Calibar, and the Plurizing Hopper Blade, which is kind of cool. So that's quite, quite nice. Let's remove that. There we go, that goes bye bye. Let's set this to one side. I know I'm teasing you with Jow Dragon standing in the background there. <laughs> I, I promise we'll get to it, we'll get to it. I will do this quickly. So, I'm going to quickly find the sellotape. Cut, cut. Nice done. All I'm going to do is show you the, the buckle itself. Quite nice. It comes in a plastic container this time. Very nice, very nice. That's kind of cool. That's really kind of cool, actually. You could probably put that as a normal belt. And now we want to get the book out, if we can. Plastic, why plastic? Why? Because I want to make my life a living hell, that's why. See, the mask came down, I apologize. It's a pin back there. So, again, this is the, it's basically three little pigs. Uh, Kobuta, uh, Kobuta. Sa, uh, San, Kobuta San Kyodai. So, three sibling pigs. Let's have a look, let's open it. As you can see, there's a house. There is a wolf of some sort. Very lime green, very, uh, like, stands out much like this one is sort of similar colors. This is more neo, like fluorescent. This is more like lime. So. Very cool, and. And this one goes in the last slot, which I think is the Monogatari. The story book, a uh, story slot. Henshin. So very basic, very basic size, same sound. Let's have a look at the insides. See the arm here. You know, the shield, that's quite cool. Or the, the wolf head, I believe it is. And we got the smaller ones, which is kind of cool. So let's close that. 
Uh, let's close that. And let's, that's it for this, for this belt. Let's put the belt away over there. I guess I'm going to do, probably do something with this because it's kind of nice. So that over there. I forgot to sheath my blade. I oh, know. So, finally 10 minutes in. Let's, let's get to the good bit. The uh, Jal Dragon one that I book, the one I've been waiting on. We've just, uh, the scans have been released for the upgraded forms for both Blade and for uh, Sabre. I will link, I will actually share them in on my Instagram, which you can find in the link, uh, links in the description below and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of trying to do the whole social networking thing nowadays. So let's remove the packaging. And it's hefty already. It is very hefty. So it's it's big. It is big. Let's have a look at the front. There you can see like we've got this really awesome dragon and many other dragons. Compa compared to like say this one, which is very much a like simple thing this one is very it's uh clicky you can hear it hinges but damn does it look good <laughs> you know what i mean it's a thick puff it really is obviously the slot for the back uh button button to do the sound i believe it is yes very very cool love the gold so let's pull the pin and let's have a listen or not, you do not play sound. What is this? Apparently you do. Nice basic sound there. Wow, <laughs> wow. Okay, so folks, I'm actually gonna do something a little differently here. Normally we would transition to that, but because I literally gave you like 12 minutes of putting up with me not showing you stuff, we're gonna just stand up and we're gonna do it here. So first, let's turn on the blade. Well, we can. There we go. Also, I do know the volume is a little bit whacked in, this, in these videos lately. When I get a decent PC, we can sort of start doing proper editing and stuff like that. So please bear with me, folks, on that one. So let's slide back. Let's stand up. And so first, you need to scan. Oh, that's nice. Sit. Henshin. Always happens, always happens. Come on. Try this again. Pinching. Holy, like that is intense. So very intense. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> again, bloopers. This sort of thing happens. So, there's a button down here for that, which is what that triggers. So, I'm actually gonna do this properly. So we'll trigger it. Just gotta get that sound off. So normally the, the the sword itself will do the sounds, but it's all in this. 
So you can see here we've got some buttons. I'm going to actually get my knife. Again, I didn't unsheath the damn thing. So I believe it is this button. Be very, very careful. Do not try this at home, folks. Not it. Very cool. So let's actually see if we can get the sound up again. Ah, okay, I see how we do it. It's gonna be very difficult, very difficult. I apologize for this. Hmm. Tell you what, let's do it. bloopers. This is generally how I fly, folks. I'll try and do something and I'll be like, nope, not gonna work anymore. And it's like, God, ah, damn you. So let's remove that from the actual poster. Let's remove that dagger. Let's bring this in. Let's do this sort of properly once again. Do a scan. Set it. That is, that is like the best thing in the world for me. And I said like two episodes ago, like Slash is one of my favorite jingles. And I admit like the uh, Anju Ken Suzune is so good in terms of it's just it's full on jingle sounds. But this this is so good, like, and it, and it works for, like, for the character as well, because it's just so fitting. And I love how this is actually, like, a full-on pop-out book sort of thing. And Oh, that I've not heard. I think that was actually used in Think, but he scanned the blade. So it's not so much a, like, so that's interesting. It's like, Joe, Okay, that is, that is kind of badass. That is, okay, that is really cool. And, you know, I'm going to do it one more time because words cannot express how good this is. And from the, from the images that we've got of the upcoming uh, upgrades for Saber and Blade, no Espada yet, weirdly, depending on what happens. Legitimately, they look so cool. And we're getting like a, a wrist weapon as well, like that you can slot things in. That's going to be really cool. So let's end this because it's 20 minutes and I've wasted your time on a lot of stuff. So let's set. And of course. Oh. There we go. That is so cool. That is so cool. Like, I kind of just want to keep it open. Like, this is the thing. Like, I'm going to like, end it 
sort of here, but I just want to explain something. Like, this is what this channel is all about. My love for this stuff. Like, I could be spending my money on so many different things, you know, uh, video games, uh, artwork, books, that sort of thing. But, you know, Kamen Rider to me and Super Sentai, in a way, Super Sentai hasn't really done much for me lately. Uh, not for a few seasons anyway. But, like, Kamen Rider and the stuff that they come out with for, like, the belt designs and the jingles and just the different types of tension devices that we get just really make me excited and happy and stuff like this and the stuff that's coming up soon, uh, probably next month or January, is so cool. And, like, I have to admit, like, this current series is obviously marred by the current pan pandemic because you can tell a lot of the times when it's like oh this doesn't feel like you're really there but the fact that they're creating such an interesting set of characters and designs and upgrades and all that sort of stuff and moving the for story forward gets me really really pumped up to be going to see a movie about it that's literally only 20 minutes long because I want to go see what this new guy is like what what's he gonna be like and you know we're only at seven riders currently and there's apparently three more to to come along from what the writer said so you know the thing about this channel and future videos and stuff like that this is me showing off my my hobby my love you know i could literally just my entire apartment could be just filled with common rider stuff and i would be happy you know, you can call me a weeb if that's the case. I don't really care. I'm definitely an otaku. That's for damn certain. But yeah, so that was 20 minutes of me blue balling you. Well, 10 minutes of me blue balling you and the rest showing off and just nerding out over how f good the Chow Dragon Wonder Night book is. Holy God. This is amazing. I'll probably post a. Uh, uh, teaser of this on my instagram again in the video in the description down below uh, there isn't a twitter yet and i'm kind of thinking of going down certain paths but we'll come to that when we come to that and anyway i have been the, ge the common gentleman extremely happy because of this being so damn awesome and until next time folks i will see you soon till then take care Bye for now.